Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're gonna break down the TCX Street 3 shoes available at Revzilla.com. So what you're gonna see with the new TCX Street 3s is these are replacing the extremely popular TCX Street Aces. Really what you're gonna see in my opinion, is an upgraded sole. That's the big story with this particular piece. There's some other light upgrades that we're gonna talk about as well, but the price hasn't changed. So it's still gonna be that great fitting, great stylized riding shoe from TCX, still coming in around the $160 price point, and it is available in three different versions. Now, before I dive into the versions and the materials here, from a sizing perspective, sizing has not changed. I am pretty much a 12 and a half across the board. I used TCX size chart, put me in a 47, which is where I sit across all TCX shoes and boots, and it fit me spot on. Sizes will range from a 38 up to a 48, and the colors that we're gonna see here are gonna be depending on the version you go with. So we have an air version, we have a waterproof version, and then we have a waterproof textile version, all of which are going to come in at that $160 price point. If you want it to, there is going to be a Gore-Tex option that you can jump up to. All of the, the Street 3s that we're talking about right now is going to be proprietary waterproof. And then again, if we're talking about the air, there is no waterproof protection in the air. That is just going to be massive amounts of airflow for those of you riding in hot and dry climates. So let's start by talking about the materials and the colors that you're going to see. So I have one of each of the, the new shoes on the table in front of me. If you're looking at the H2Os, that is gonna be a full leather construction, and that are the, those are the three that are here on my right-hand side. Um, what you will notice is as the colors change, the actual leather changes on this. So if you're looking at the black version, this is gonna be a nubuck leather. If you're looking at the brown version, which is in my hand, this is a full grain cowhide. And then if you take a look over at this kind of a dark olive green color, that is gonna be done in suede leather. Now, if you're looking at the two on my left-hand side, the, uh, the all black one right here, this is going to be your air version. And you're gonna notice that this is gonna have a lot of mesh with a suede leather to it. Really nice hand to the leather. And again, maximum amount of breathability there. And then if you look at the uh, waterproof textile version, you're gonna see that there's textile up along the back of the shoe. And then the front part of this is gonna be done in a suede leather. So that's really gonna be how you're gonna see the materials change. The other thing you'll notice from a styling standpoint is that you're gonna have this embossment on the leather, but it's only gonna be on certain ones. It's gonna be on the brown and the black colorway of the waterproof version. You're not gonna see it on the other riding shoes. So one of the things to note here is that TCX, in my opinion, has gotten a little bit heavy handed with the distressing. And it's really something that you need to be aware of. If you're someone that likes your shoes to look brand new and you like to keep them polished and brand new, these are probably not gonna be the best option for you especially in specific colorways. You'll notice it on the, the white soles and even a little bit on the, uh, the light brown sole. Um, they're just very heavily distressed. So when you get them out of the box, they're intended to look like someone already rode in them. Now, if you're looking at the, uh, the air version or the waterproof textile, those don't bother me as much. They look very clean and new, fresh out of the box. But if you're looking at any of the ones with the white sole, that is gonna give you a heavy pre-distressed. If you're walking around town in these, four out of 10 on the rigidity scale, very comfortable. And a lot of that has to do with the new ground treks sole that they're using. They're extremely excited about this. And I think it's gonna be a really popular option is what I'm trying to say. But what I like about this, really nice and grippy, um, flat sole design. But if you take a look at the inside and TCX was actually nice enough to send me um, an inside of this to show you, what you get is this really unique cutout version. And what this does is it allows for a real flexible walking shoe, um, but yet, if you do get into a crash, and I have to make sure this is kind of stuck into the little uh, pocket that it's designed for, it does meet all crush ratings from CE level protection, so you can't get your foot crushed. So it's a really unique design. They're very proud of this. And again, very comfortable shoe, but also very protective, especially if you're looking for that, you know, riding shoe or that riding sneaker that you can wear on the bike. But then when you get to where you're going, you can also walk around all day. Now, the one thing that I did not like about this compared to the Street Ace is they got rid of the, of the toe protection. So you no longer have reinforcement at the toe. Um, so one, again, one of my main nitpicks is just that they eliminated that, but I do like the new sole, very comfortable and it is still maintaining that crush proof design. D3O pucks at, the, uh, at the, the ankles on this, and again, I have one of these to show you, but that's exactly what it looks like if you were to cut it out of the sneaker, but you're gonna have D3O ankle cups um, for protection on both the lateral and the medial side of this. Little pull on the back to get the shoe on and off. 
Only thing I wasn't crazy about is that D3O tag right there to let you know that you have a D3O ankle cup. Could have been put at a, at a better, more uh, discreet place. Instead, it's, it's kind of hanging up there. Um, I'm sure you can cut that out, but it is sewn into the fabric, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. One of the things they added that I very much do enjoy, if you're riding in a riding shoe and you have laces, that's not the best way to ride a motorcycle because of the fact that if those laces come on down and they get caught in a chain, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. However, a lot of sneakers for motorcycling do use laces, boots. I mean, most of my riding boots have laces even though it's not the best option for it. What I like about TCX is they have this new stretch pull. So once you're done tying your laces up, you can actually snap them underneath this elasticated pull. And even if the laces were to start to come undone, everything is held nice and tethered underneath here. This is a really thought out design and it does add a lot to the safety. This is not just some styling exercise. So just keep that in mind. I really like what, TC has, what TCX has done with these new Street 3s. You know, like I said, the price hasn't changed over the TCX Street Aces, and you're getting a lot more protection and just thought out functionality with this. And the small upgrades to the style, you know, work for me as well. I think it's a little bit more sophisticated than some of the earlier versions that we've seen from TCX. So I really like the direction that they're heading with this particular riding shoe. Now there's a lot of folks out there that are utilizing these shoes on their rides. And if you wanna hear more about what they have to say, you can click that little info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other rider reviews. And uh, if you're still not sure as to which riding shoes or riding boots are right for you, you can reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. They can walk you through your riding type and all the different shoes and boots that are available to make sure that you find the right option for your ride. I want to thank you for joining us today for this look at the TCX Street 3 riding shoes. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.